Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with Battle Brothers Season 4, folks. It's going to go to 32 episodes. I have finally decided, guys. This is Episode 30. That means on Sunday should be the last episode of Season 4 of Battle Brothers. And hopefully we get some stuff accomplished. We shall see. Anyhow, I have decided that Season 5 shall begin on my two-year YouTube anniversary. That's right, two years ago on November 2nd was when I first started doing stuff on YouTube. I just cleared over a million views yesterday, folks, so that is a pretty big milestone for me. Pretty happy. I was hoping I'd be, well, a little bit over 5k subscribers by the time I hit a million, but that's okay, because I do enjoy my loyal people, and, you know, a smaller community is not necessarily a bad thing. So, the views keep coming in, and the people well, keep enjoying it and commenting. I enjoy, I enjoy it too, guys. I do enjoy what I do. So, we're going to hop in here and actually get started. I'm going to probably kill off the Orc Hunters. Then I'm going to come down to Cragberg Castle, sell up whatever we have. Hopefully that's going to give us some time. Then we'll come back and check on the Long Pike's Den. I believe it's a goblin place, right? So, a puny goblin place should be easy. If it was like, I don't know, normal, sorry, even weaker, slightly weaker, eh, it really depends. I don't know, guys. I don't know if we're quite to the level where we can actually do that, especially considering this will be still start us in a line battle, but it'll be a line battle against um, goblins in a, like a muddy, swampy area, which will make it really difficult for us to actually close with them. So if that is not actually accurate and it's not puny, then we may be making our way back up to the Blood Cleaver Den, which I don't even remember where that's at. It's over here somewhere. It's over here somewhere, I can assure you. Just give me a second here, guys. It was up past... Window? Yeah, it's, there it is. So we'll probably clear out that and this. I don't know, guys. There's a lot of stuff that I want to get done this time around, so let's get on down here and get to it, shall we? So, again, guys, it's going to be on November 2nd that, you guessed it, you understand, you know the power that we hold. No. Uh, that's when Battle Brothers Season 5 will start up, and that'll probably run through until close to Christmas, maybe the New Year's, I don't know. I might break it off a little bit earlier, depending on when the patch releases. I know they said that it's going to be sometime this year that the patch is going to release, but it's probably going to be close to Christmas. And it's going to have a lot of new stuff and whatnot, so we'll probably run that until close to then, and then we'll start up the next dealie. So it'll be the, I, I don't even know what version we're on anymore, maybe it tells me down here. It's build 0 .5, 0 .0, 0 .5, 0 0.5, crazy, crazy. All right, so we have these guys that we're up against. It is nighttime, so our archers are absolute poop. However, our Dark Knight here, the guy with the Fangshire helmet, is not poop. And he is going to shoot you, and holy crap, he did damage, broke a helmet, and knocked the guy back. Pretty impressive stuff. All right, we're going to wait it out until they close with us. A little bit more. I was going to run up to 35 episodes, guys, but I figure 32 is going to showcase the game well enough, and then Season 5 is going to be a little bit more... I'm going to play it a little bit more like I plan to play the completed game, where you start off with a ragtag group, but then you start actually hiring better people, replacing the weaker people. And I imagine by the end of that, we should be looking pretty good. So, we'll see. We shall see. I also feel like they need to rework some of the weapons and things in the game. Not necessarily like how they work or anything. I still think the AoE for the axe user, the two-handed axeman, it's a little silly. It doesn't really, like, the situation isn't going to present itself. Like Emmerteal, you're not going to be in a position where you can be surrounded by like five guys and just kill people, no matter what your armor is, because you don't have the defense rating to avoid all the shots. Chances are you're going to get stunned by somebody or something's going to happen where you kind of just become a non-factor and that sucks it really sucks because I, I don't want to see that I, I really like the concept and the idea of the round swing and killing everybody but it's it's just not a viable option you know <laughs> removing heads however pretty viable option just saying all right we're gonna move close and 27 percent yeah darkness be darned we will not fall all right well unfortunately we can't shoot with him it is a tad sad I know that's right, a tad... Oh, we can attack across the way. Yeah! Varg the Vargarian, if that is your real name. But I'll, I'll explain some more about what I'm talking about, about the weapons needing to be reworked and whatnot. 
in uh, once we get back to the town. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about specifically, and you guys can be like, Oh my gosh, Bumpy, you're so smart. I agree 100%, or you're an idiot. Which is probably more likely the case, but you never know. You never can tell. All right. We cannot do the long range shot from here yet. Nothing we can do with you. You can shoot this guy, I suppose. And miss, and miss a second time. Excellent. And you can do nothing. And you can do nothing. And you can do nothing. And you can stab him. And stab him again. And you can hit him with your round ball with spikes and a chain and other various, I don't know, things. No, I moved one too far. Darn it. All right. Well, there we go. All right. It's going to be up to Excalibur to handle him or Emmerteal. If Emmerteal actually survives long enough to do so, we will see. We'll move here and pew. We missed. That's okay. I kind of expected that. Chances are our crossbowman's is going to flat kill him anyway, so not sure what we're even worried about at this point. And he's even going to get to move first. Oh, the guy's out of range. We knocked him back so far. He's actually out of range. We'll scoot forward a little bit more. There we go. And 64% dead. Who am I kidding? We know that our boy, K-Jack Applejacks, is going to handle the business. It's fine. All right, not a lot of experience across the board, but, yeah, 52 still goes toward a level. And, yeah, we're still healing up. All right, not a lot of impressive stuff here. That's okay. We can add it to the repair list. And then we'll head back down to Cragberg Castle. And let's see here. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was I moving? I think I was. Hergash Gall, a deadly place. That doesn't seem very nice. All right, well, we're going to come down here. Is it the middle mount? Is it? No, it's just left click and hold. I'm sorry, guys. Too many games lately. My, my mind's starting to get addled by how different things are working. We should also get this stuff repaired right now. Seems like a pretty good idea. All right, first off, I think they need to add some extra shields. I think the shields they have are decent, but they need extra ones. The hide shields, like the orcish shields, what is that? A hunting pack? Well, we can totally murder that, too. All right, let's see if we can't get it in there and help out with the battle. That's not what I clicked on at all. Leave. Hunting pack. Yeah, there it is. All right, we're going to go up against the werewolves and then fight these guys off. Didn't know there'd be werewolves here, but cool. We'll take it on. Oh, it's like that, is it? I think we may have the small advantage. Not sure, though. Something about the 43 to 9 seems like maybe the edge is slightly in our favor. I can't say for certain. Hey, we have crossbows, too. All right, we have a crossbow as well. Anyhow, I think they need to add extra shields that we can buy. So they have the, the little round shield. They have the buckler. Which is good, I like both of those. Then they have the kite shields and the... I don't remember what the other ones are called, guys. I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank on that. But they have these uh, missile shields that this guy's using, and then they have the shields that we're using here. I think they should have like a wall shield, maybe, which could be, either way, more defense toward ranged, and more defense toward, uh, well, melee. Or they could have like maybe an infantry shield, or... Um, I'm trying to think what the other name is. There was wall tower, a tower shield. They could throw a tower shield up, which is similar to a wall shield. I think like a couple shields like that would be pretty good. Like I feel that our shields don't, they do a lot, but they don't do enough. Especially now that you have stuff like the goblins or creatures like the goblins that can just murder you no matter what you do because they're so much more powerful than you are. Sure, they don't hit for a tremendously huge amount of damage, but like every single one of their weapons and attacks does direct damage. So no matter how heavily armored you are, you're going to get whittled down and eventually die to fighting them. And since they are weaker, or considered weaker by the uh, balancing thing, you're probably going to run up against groups that have like 15, 19, 20 goblins. And if they have any form of uh, height advantage or a bunch of ranged units, you're probably going to get destroyed. I mean, it's... I, I think... Adding shields is going to be a pretty big thing. Oh, and I saw something on my uh, on my own playthrough, guys. They actually did something I thought they said they weren't going to do. And they actually added magic into the game. I know. What the heck is that about? Yeah, there's apparently a goblin shaman, which I had never run into before. 
And the Goblin Shaman apparently can cast spells. Who knew that would be a thing? And I like healing. Well, maybe he's got healing spells. I don't know. I got killed by the, the group. It wasn't good. So it was like, all right, I literally lost every single person when I was playing on my own. I'm like, okay, well, that's a good fight not to take. So yeah, Goblin Shaman can cast spells. He's got this weird bug curse spell where a bunch of flies or insects fly all over a guy and he's like ah and it lowers all of his stats down by 50 percent so his melee his range skills defense all that stuff 50 percent less so he becomes pretty much useless and then on top of that he's got this like aoe rooting ability so you can't even close with him to kill him and in the fight that i was on he was like three high and my archers even though they had like 40 percent chance to hit missed like nine times in a row I just don't get it, guys. I don't understand. I don't know if we're going to get a single kill in this, but we're going to try. We're going to try to find the werewolves. We are not really becoming successful just yet. We're getting closer. There was one there, I believe. They're down to five now. Apparently they have vision of them somewhere, and it's over in this general vicinity. So kudos to him, I guess. All right, lots more nasty things. But since the game is now gearing toward later game stuff, that's why you saw the change in the prices of all the like late game considered items. But you have to look at the scaling, and again, I'll explain this once we get inside Cragbird Castle. But you have to look at the scaling. The scaling is the really, really bad weapons, the starting weapons, like piles of garbage, like the hatchet and like the pickaxe and stuff like that those are all um, really really cheap which is fine that's the way it should be and then the next level up there's like three tiers to most weapons the second tier is a reasonably priced where you would expect it to be it's more expensive than the original ones but it's not so expensive that it's ridiculously high now it's good that the late game items are as expensive as they are but here's the problem they don't scale like the scaling between tier one and tier two amazing Scaling between the Tier 2 and Tier 3 weapons are terrible. They're really bad. I'll use the one-handed axe users as a... As a... I don't know. A bases, I guess? Or an example. As, as an example of what I'm talking about when we finally get into the town. It just... It needs to rework. I was really... I'm really disappointed with how, how little the fighting axe does in comparison to the hand axe. Like, it's 100% not worth it at all to upgrade. For the price, if you're just going, I mean, obviously, when you're at late game and you want a tiny more, tiny bit better equipment, a little bit of an edge, and you have a ton of money, then sure, I guess it's fine. But if you just go based off of money to advantage, it's 100% not worth it. This is the most ridiculous fight we've ever been a part of, and we haven't seen a single enemy yet. I don't even know where the enemy is. He's probably fleeing from us right now. And there's a better than average chance we're never going to actually see him. And we're going to have to wait for all these guys to move. Well, maybe helping out the 40-whatever uh, guards here. Not the best player. 30-whatever guards. Well, he reloaded. I mean, that's something. Unleash the hound! I may actually do that. I may unleash our hound and see if he can't chase down the werewolf. Well, they seem to be, like, freaking out. They don't know where he's at, so I guess at this point we can just spam through. So this was kind of a waste of our time, guys. I do apologize. This is not part of the plan, but, eh, it happened. Not much we can do about it now. All right, let's see if our doggy can actually go find something. Doggy's like, he's over this way, guys. Let's go. And he's free. All right, so we didn't actually accomplish anything. We got zero experience. We got literally no loot. That was 100% a waste of our time. I figured we would start in a line battle because that's happened before. We can actually engage with the uh, with the enemy. That's kind of, or not the enemy, but with the uh, guys that were there. It's a little funny. All right, we're back in town. So here's what I'm talking about, guys. I know I went on and on and on about stuff, and you guys are probably like, "What is he even saying? I don't understand." Well. First off, I don't mean to belittle you with my horrible, horrible making fun of you, but I, I, I suppose I did already, so there is that. Alright, let's see. We do not have a hand axe available, so can't really show you the comparison directly all the way across the board like I was hoping to. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, we're not actually in the buy menu. My bad. 
Alright, let's go back to the buy menu. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have here a hand axe, we have a fighting axe, and we have a hatchet. So you start off with a hatchet. It's not very it's not very expensive, right? It's pretty cheap. Let's see here. We'll come down to the bottom eventually. 198 gold is what it would cost us, right? Then we come up here. Oh, we actually need to see what it does. We have another one laying around? We do. Okay, so we need to see what it does. And it does 25 to 45 damage. It's got 30% uh, percent of the uh, damage ignores armor, and it's 100% effective against armor. It does 2 shield damage and 6 maximum fatigue. So 25 to 45 is still a decent weapon. It's not bad by weapon standards. We take a look, this is 30 to 55. So you go from 25 to 45 to 30 to 55. Sorry, 30 to 55. Not bad. Again, you go from 30 to 30%, 30 so exactly the same. But the effectiveness against armor goes up by 10%, and the damage, uh, shield damage goes up by 2. So, again, for the increased cost, it's like, what, 400 more? That's feasible. Honestly, I think they should even raise this a little bit higher, and they should put this to maybe 35 to 55. That would make it a little bit better, and I would be okay with that. Okay, so then you go from here, so what I would expect, say this is 30 to 35 to 55, so basically, it should be at the level that the fighting axe is but with 110% effectiveness versus armor. This is how I would balance it. Now you guys could think I'm totally crazy, and I could be completely insane. I think the maximum fatigue increase and the shield damage increase is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I think the effectiveness versus armor increase is fine. I don't have a problem with that either. But the damage for this should not be 35 to 55. That should be the last axe's damage. This should be probably 45 to 65 or 45 to 70. It's the most expensive one-handed weapon out here literally the hammer is not even as expensive okay this is ridiculous it's worth three thousand is what it says we're getting it sold to us for 2800 that's almost five well not quite that's almost it's eh, it is it's close that's almost five times what the hand axe is or the hand axe is maybe double double and a half or something of what the hatchet actually is so you see it doesn't scale appropriately now it could be they're gonna add another tier weapon but I just feel like the, the end game items should be worth a bit more. They should do a bit more damage. And then they still have named items and, and legendary items that they're going to add. Maybe that's where it's all going to come in, but I don't know if you can if you can buy any of those or what. I just feel like for the price, it's not worth it right now. It's not worth the extra 5 damage on the low end and the 15% extra armor effectiveness. It's not worth it. It really isn't. But that's neither here nor there. Let's sell some stuff and get on with our business. That's just one of those things that I noticed that I feel like it just, it doesn't scale the way it should. Like, uh, the Woodcutter's Axe, I don't think there's three, I think there's only two. So you have the Woodcutter's Axe, which is 35 to 70, which is good, right? Like, really good, and then you got the 40% armor ignoring and 125% against armor. And then this is 80 to 100. This is an actual decent scaling. I like this scaling, the scaling's good. It's 40% effective, or, or ignoring armor, uh, and then 150% effective versus armor. Again, this is a good scaling. I think the price discrepancy is a bit high, and maybe they need to add a third tier to this. And, you know, you can do you know 35 to 70, and then you can do maybe 50 to 80, and then you can do 80 to 100. Something like that. That would work out pretty good. I just, I feel like... They're going to be implementing some stuff. I don't know what they're implementing, but it, it seems like they have all this stuff. They're implementing new weapons and they're doing things on and on, right? But it's not all there yet, so maybe I'm just, you know, making molehills out of mountains or mountains out of molehills or mohawks and who knows what else, guys. I don't know. I just see, like, there's, there's just this weird gap and disconnect between the weapon prices, the, I don't know, the effectiveness of the weapons, and then certain, like, weapon classes, like, like I said, the one-handed axes. They don't make sense at all, so I don't know. It's just it's hard for me to to justify spending the twenty eight hundred to get that, which I did already for the tiny tiny increase that we got. But again, I digress. I'm not gonna dwell upon this forever and ever and ever in a day, just for a little while. All right, we'll snag up some of that. We're now looking pretty good again with over a thousand gold. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna check out the, the Long Pike's Den. There is a challenging battle here over at Hergash Gall, but we're not going to go and take that. 
Additionally, we're looking at nine hours before we're fully healed. And again, guys, I will battle puny goblins. I'll even battle, sometimes I'll battle weaker goblins. But I don't know if I want to battle weaker goblins inside of a place like this. So thankfully this is puny. I mean, if it's if it wasn't puny, it would be pretty awful, and I would not want to do this. Well, it doesn't look like there's any... Oh, there is some scouts out here, or orc hunters. Well, let's go see if we can't chase those guys down again. Oh, it just got weaker. So it went from puny to weaker. What are we up against here? A goblin overseer, many skirmishers, and some ambushers. We might be able to take that. You know what? We're going to try it. I'm going against my, my better judgment here, but we're going to give it a shot. There's 14 to our 12, so they actually outnumber us. And they're pretty far away, and there's a lot of trees in the way as well. This is a bit odd. And what happened to his shield? Oh, you know what? I was I was messing... Oh, no. I was messing around with Antros, swapping the bow back and forth with him, and... I don't know. I think I've done some sort of terrible, terrible move here. Alright, well, it looks like we have a pretty good shot at hitting some goblins here. Which I will totally take. Alright, unfortunately you don't have the shot at hitting goblins. That's okay, and for some reason you don't either. I don't really understand that. But, whatever. There we go. We are now on even footing, sort of. Well, we're closer to even footing. I mean, we, we did half damage to both of those, so technically... They're, oh! Oh gosh! Ow! Hi. Please tell me you still have your shield in your inventory. You do not. Alright, Antros. Guess you're going to sit this one out, buddy. Or at least try to position yourself so you don't die. And I can't guarantee that's going to be a thing. Alright, let's move you on down this way. See if we can get you into a position to actually do something. Get you to come over here. This is looking a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. Alright, we're going to move our way through the tall grass, hopefully, and the bushes, and we're going to try very hard not to die a horrible, awful death. There is no guarantee of this being a thing that's going to happen, but, again, we can try. Alright, what I would like to do, and what I'm actually going to be able to do with our uh, crossbowmen is uh, probably two entirely different things. Nope, we can do that. Good. All right, and get wrecked. Oh, he didn't die. I thought for sure that would kill him. Huh. Well, that is a bit interesting. All right, so now we're probably going to take quite a bit of hatred. Just Ladnik is actually tapped out. Oh, no, he's, he's poisoned, so he's got very little movement that he can actually do. Antros is in a rough spot. Okay, well, I guess that's good for now. It's going to be the best that we can really do right now. All right, we're going to see... I assume some archers firing on our folks. I'm hoping that our ranged defense is going to hold out. Antros is just going to take a beating. He's going to get flat annihilated. Alright, well, he's really got to get out of there. I'm hoping that we can do that before any horrible, horrible awfulness happens. I'm also hoping that we can kill the uh, Goblin Overseer right now. Oh, come on, buddy. You got to do this. You got to do this. Jon Snow, do it. Oh, God. Oh, oh he's whipping people. A lot of whip people, a lot of whipping. Okay, well, we still have a chance. 27%, we missed. 38%, there it is. Alright, I am pretty happy about that. We're going to reload, and we are going to say goodbye to you. Oops, you got blocked by one of your own people, that's okay. Okay, I'm not so sure I want to charge in just yet, but it looks like I don't have a choice, so we're going to do it. I'm going to get closer to you. And we're going to move a little bit closer here with good old Marcelo. Oh, sorry, uh, Timothy the Crusader. Marcelo is not him. I'm going to move here with Ladneck. Antros, you are going to try to run for your life. Because you are just getting absolutely flat mauled and crushed. It's not a pleasant experience. For you or anyone else, really. Alright, and we are slowly closing in on the nasty, nasty individuals that want to kill us. 
All right, now we're gonna have to take the hatred of all the skirmishers. We're probably gonna get netted by a few. Actually, I think they might have missed their nets. Also, how did they have vision of us? We're in the tall grass. I don't understand. They shouldn't have vision of us there. It's not like we attacked. We moved into the high grass, and well, I don't know. Well, we're absorbing a lot of uh, oop, a lot of attacks, and then that happened. All right, and we're now gonna be eating multiple, multiple arrows and stuff. Okay, yeah, you're gonna try to fire on our uh, basic leader here. Basically, he's our uh, overseer, so he doesn't have a whip yet. Oh, you managed to poison him. Well, that really sucks, because now we can't do anything. Literally can't do anything. Can't. Why can't we reload? Doesn't it take seven to reload? Oh, it does. Okay. We only have six. I actually meant doesn't it take six to reload, but nope. Okay, so now he's actually completely useless until the poison wears off. Well, that's good to know, and he is getting completely destroyed. Oh my gosh. This is so incredibly bad for him. Alright, well we can go to the tall grass there. And can we even sort of make our way this way? It doesn't look like it. Well, I think we're going to end up losing some folks here. He survived. And yeah, the shield's up, okay. Alright, the hit and the follow-up hit. Excellent. And the attack missed, and... Okay, we landed that. Not too bad. And there we go. Alright, so the fear is starting to come through. Alright, we're going to move here. Again, I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know what's going on. We're going to try. Oh, I was hoping we can get to the tall grass. Hopefully Antro survives whatever horrible thing is going to happen to him. Okay, I can move there. I thought I could move there, but apparently I can't. Okay, we're going to unleash our puppy. Our puppy's going to bite him, and... Well, he's pinned in some others. So there is that. Going to try to get past this guy a little bit. There we go. Going to try to move in here and keep other people from shooting and or stabbing our folks. We'll try to break free. We finally did, but at what cost? The doggy looks like he is now a priority target. And unfortunately, K-Jack is now relatively useless. Alright, all we gotta do is hang in there. Oh gosh, oh my, he bypass, how did he bypass all of our, oh jeez. I'm telling you guys, goblins are so ridiculously OP. They're so insanely ridiculously OP. Okay guys, hang in there. Shouldn't our dog be doing something? There he goes. Oh, and he's just gonna casually run away. Okay. Oh my goodness. We are just having such a rough go of it. Alright. And our dog died again, of course. I don't even know what the dog's name was this time around. Okay, and the attack! He hit somebody, we're heroes. Oh, and he moved forward. Oh gosh, he hit it so incredibly hard. Don't die. Don't die. Don't you die. Gosh, Antros is so close to death. Is he bleeding too? I don't think so. Oops. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Emerteal, buddy, you need to do something. Alright. the attack. Come on, Jon Snow. Thank you, buddy. Alright, what do you have? You've got this shot. Come on, buddy. Land it. You missed everything. Comrade Rasco doing some work. Moving forward. Oh, boy. Okay. If we move forward. Oh, gosh. That's all we can do, huh? Oh, this is not great. This is definitely not great. Alright. Run away, man. Run away. <laughs> All right, you are your own savior here. Oh gosh, and you failed. Oh my gosh, you failed. How could you possibly fail? Oh no, that is such a disaster. Oh, that's so disastrous. Why? Yeah. How? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. 
Okay, he missed. They are still sort of fleeing. Don't you dare come down. Okay. Alright. Oh, no. And we missed. Oh, my gosh, dude. Seriously? Oh, gosh. He's so hurt. Oh, he's so hurt. Oh, if we do that, we can't use our other skill. Please kill him. Oh, we didn't kill him. Okay, we gotta go for broke here. Oh, we missed every single attack. How oh, is this a thing? No, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, he's still alive. Holy crap. Where the heck did this other idiot go? Grr. Okay. Well. This is happening. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Okay. We're, we're, we're not out of the woods yet. We're getting closer to out of the woods. 39%. Yes! Yes! The dream is real! It's still really, 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 really ridiculously scary. By the way, guys, this is still ridiculous. I'm sorry, but they need to nerf the living crap out of the goblins. There is no way at this point in the game we should be getting destroyed by these people or creatures or whatever they are. This is absolutely asinine. I'm just saying. Like, literally ridiculous. Okay, well. We're, we're crippled, but we're still barely alive. Oh, man. We're going to need that long track, and we're going to have to hope, really, really hope, that we do not get... Yes, we do not get destroyed by their horrible awfulness. So there you go, folks. We squeak through. Oh, my gosh. I've been rambling and babbling a lot this time. I think most of them sound like complaints, but they're really not. It's just things that I'd like to see adjusted that I feel are super imbalanced right now. Like, I, I think pretty much everybody... Well, I know every single person I've talked to said that the goblins are way too strong. That they need a reworking desperately. And they're not just strong... A lot of people said they're really strong early game. And again, I am not playing the same version a lot of people are. I'm, I'm still tied into the immediate release. And then they reworked it a little bit after that. So after their their first um, release of the Goblin Patch, that is where I'm at. Where are you? There you are, buddy. So it's still a little bit more challenging where I'm at. But I think that only affected the early game. So I don't know. I just, like I said, guys, I feel the goblins are just way, way, way too powerful. For us to go up against the weaker, which is, what, one step above puny? And get destroyed as badly as we did? I feel like it's there's something wrong. But it does add a whole new level of challenge because, again, all the... And the biggest thing is all of the goblins... Well, the, first off, they're super accurate for the most part. And secondly, all of their attacks go through armor. They do a lot of direct damage, so since there's so many of them, they attack so often and they're so accurate, you just get wrecked. And then when you roll up on their ranged individuals, which you think that you'd have the advantage over, they just whip out a melee weapon and they wreck your face. There's like no winning against them. They are strong in all forms of combat. The only thing they're not, the only thing they're not strong at, is not running in fear. No, the only thing where they actually do not succeed or excel is the fact that they don't have a lot of hit points. So when you do finally land shots on them, they do die pretty quickly and very easily. So on that front, I'm fine with it, but they're they're just they're t I think they're too accurate. Maybe if you cut their accuracy down by I, I dare say even 50%, it's that out of control right now. I think they would not be anywhere near as OP. Also, what happened? Why did they add magic? I mean, I'm okay with it. I think it's a cool addition, but they, they seem pretty set in a no magic world, or at least they said a low magic world, which I guess means you can have stuff like shamans that spawn insect swarms and roots that pop out of the ground and, and capture you. So, I mean, I suppose there's some magic involved there. Alright, I'm not sure why I'm moving everybody. The only two that really matter at this point are uh, these guys down yeah! here. And it's really just him. Oh my gosh, he didn't even pin him in. We had a spear guy that just got outplayed by a freaking... I mean, this is ridiculous. By a goblin who just, and I think it's a it's a ranged goblin unit, literally just outperformed our spearmen. I mean, how does that happen? It's a melee combatant. You shouldn't be able to outrun him. All right, I'm just gonna spam through the rest of this turn, guys, and hopefully in the next turn we'll be able to finish it. This episode's gone on quite long. I know I did a lot of babbling and talking and 
Well, probably more complaining than I should have. Yeah, there we go. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. There we go. Well, that was an intense and really, really, really difficult battle. Several people, brink of death, but in the end we managed to survive. Emertiel nearly dead, Antros pretty close to dead, Marcelo really, really close to dead as well. Uh, Ladnek really close to dead. I mean, we almost lost four people that time around. That shouldn't happen to a group of weaker goblins when we have the endgame gear right now. It's... I don't know, guys. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's a little sad. Alright, we got another spiked impaler with 1%. That's kind of rough. I like the look of the shields. But again, I feel like they have too many of the low-end shields. Like, you know, you have the you have the buckler, and then you have the skirmish reinforced shield, which is less than your round shields. Then you have the tanned hide shields or something like that. That's weaker than your round shields as well in certain ways, and stronger in others. Like, they have a lot of shields, but none of them are, like... There's not a, a whole lot of progression through the shields. The biggest progressive shield is the the metal shield, but that's so heavy you can't use it. Like, I like so many things, and there's just so many things that I would do differently. But that's probably why I'm not a game designer, guys. Because I like things a specific way doesn't mean it is the correct way or the only way. This game is still insanely fun, despite all the annoying goblin things. <clears throat> but again, guys, I'll stop complaining. I, I'm still having a blast with the game. I've had a lot of fun, and... I really hope to continue with it. Anyhow, so the next goal now is going to be to run back up to Windau, and from there we are going to do whatever's next. But that's going to be a tale for another time. As I am going to break off this episode, it's going to take us a full three plus days to recover from the detrimental, well, ownage there that we just had to suffer. I also am surprised that no one actually gained a level out of that. That was a lot to do and we didn't even gain a level I feel kind of bad but either way we did manage to succeed we managed to take out their their warlord leader pretty quickly on too which is great anyway that's gonna do it guys i will see you next time which is gonna be saturday for episode 31 of battle brothers followed by sunday's episode 32 and then the break until november 2nd hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did feel free to like comment subscribe and share it and i again i'll see you guys on saturday until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show. And I will have to read this before I can see you later. During a short rest, your men begin to catch a man... Sorry. Managed to catch a man that tried to make off with some of your supplies. His clothes are but rags, and he looks more skeleton than man. What are you going to do with him? Give that poor guy some food and water. Alright. Feeling bad for the feeble man, you decide to give him some water and food. He almost snatches the meal away from you and drives his famished face into it. The thief thanks you between every bite. Not everyone will be this lenient. Anyway, guys, I will see you later.